Hey guys, we're at a call where the customer said the um seems like the blower's not coming on and it's starting to frost up. Stay tuned. I already know that his thermostat doesn't just call for the oops, won't call for just the blower I have to turn on the cooling and I don't want to do that right now so I'm gonna jump out red to green and see what happens One sec before I do it, let me get a, a light in there so we can see what, what's going on. I heard it for just a second. Hmm, ain't nothing happening. Nothing. Heard it for just a second. Well, I guess we got a. I think that green wire goes straight to the fan. No, it ain't blowing. Bearings. seem to be okay. Hmm. Okay, green is on one. Blue is on five. Twenty-eight volts. I think things should be turning. Nothing. <clears throat> All right. Let me see if this is under warranty. All right, I don't know what I was thinking. This is a 2009. I must have been thinking 2019 or something, but oh, no, it's not under warranty.
This is what I'm looking for. Well guys, this is for tomorrow. I don't want to bum that up any kind of way. Always seems to be somebody around with gas powered blower that already fell down. Hey, how's it going? Oh yeah, how about yourself? I like it. Wires come out right here. Y'all you know, 
y'all see where this strap is mounted it's pretty close to the to the bottom and I had just a little bit of play on the shaft this other motor is going to be taller These motors right here are made by the same people that make the rescue motors. And right here is set up for 230 volt, which is what we need, but we can just put this plug in and make it 115. Right now, I'm gonna make sure that motor's gonna work. horsepower 4.1 amps that's 3.8 or 4 3.8 for 230 volt we'll be fine I gotta be conscious of where the belly strap was if y'all see this That motor is just a little bit taller. Alright, I think I need to wash this before I put it back in.
plenty of room to move around. Put this in, I think I'll show you. It's got little lips, like rails for it to slide in on. So that's what I'm fixing to do, try to line that up and slide it in without nicking anything. Alright, now let's get get it bolted in. get this back around here I think on um, I think it goes this way let's go ahead and get this ready This is my ground wire for my motor. Alright. Now let's plug everything up. First we need our common, that's going to be this brown right here, Let's see if there's a way I can put you in there where you can see. The next is line. Make that orange if I can get to it. All right. Next might be this. 
green. For my ground, yeah. Next is my ground. Okay, and next is gonna be my other power wall. This is really hard for me to see all these wires are in my way. There we go. Those are all wired up. Alright, and on my speeds. Bam. G or green was on one. And this was on five. Alright, let's give it a call on on green. Forgive me, I got I'm holding this with my fingers and I'm sweaty and it got it shocked me. It goes both directions and then it's gonna pick the right direction and eventually ramp off. Decided what speed to go in now. Excuse me, not what speed, but what direction. Let's go in and turn on the cooling. Let's check amp draw. There we go, 3.3. And that's with the pan loss. That, should, that condenser should be coming on any second. I can tell it's warm in there. I did a preventive maintenance on this um, a few months ago, so I know the, the charge is good. But yeah, it's almost 80 degrees inside. That right there does not feel very cold right now, but it'll get there. I know y'all have seen me do those motors dozens of times, but I don't get tired doing them. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch y'all on the next one.